Happy Tuesday, my name is Philosophical. The message for today is that everything is possible. Calling on Ganesh if I got any obstacles. Yes, I, yes, so. So I'm here in my car and I'm gonna ride a word wave. Yes, I, yes, I'm inspired by Andy Goga. Andy Goga practices yoga. Andy Goga is the master of the word wave. So a word wave is a crazy game where you just crawl onto your surfboard and then dive into the cranial ocean and you get your rational mind out of the way and then you just let the words flow and you ride the word wave and it doesn't really have to rhyme but it can rhyme if you navigate space and time and I encourage you to ride the word wave after I get off the word wave and it's really fun to get in a group of people and then you can pass the word wave to each other by passing your hands like this and then you clap and you pass the word wave but for now I'm gonna ride the word wave for a little bit in my dad's car it's a Nissan Versa and it's uh I like to call it little dino because if you look at it from the front it looks like a dino and it doesn't have any horns but it's actually a rhino and I was once in Africa and I actually did see a rhino and it was really amazing because this rhino looks like an ancient dino it's like a modern version of a dino and I'm going to switch the word wave up because the word wave is actually part of the consciousness tsunami and we just got to allow it to unfold like origami but it's actually folded up like origami and my friend who's actually a mommy her name is Trish she made me this cool little thing it's a balancing airplane with a penny that you just put on your finger and it's really cool and it reminds me of this little airplane thingamajig that I used to have when I was a little kid and I really do wonder about that like the the muscle testing and the subconscious mind like if you actually do it it's like are you are you testing your your kinesiology if you do the little muscle testing thing it's like are you programming it or is it actually going to tell you the truth I wonder that because I'm just like Dr. Seuss because the ones who mind don't matter and the ones who matter don't mind and all you got to do is coalesce and combine because everything is happening right on time because it's always now, like between Ni Hao and Chow is now, the ineffable Tao. See, all I can say is wow. So you, in the word wave, you can insert lyrics that you already have memorized because everything is energized and everything is synchronized and everything. <laughs> and you got to laugh at yourself because you can't take yourself too seriously because the self doesn't even really exist because we're all just relationships and we're on our relationships floating in the cranial ocean and it's all word wave wizardry all in motion and I'm giving birth even though I don't have ovaries and I put it in a bag like groceries as paradigm shifting poetries on top of flippity flap flow trees and I'm continuously riding the word wave and I just got a burst of energy because I had some yerba mate which some people mispronounce as yerba mate but what the heck is a mispronunciation it's all just a consensual reality whether we decide to all agree on the same thing uh, the same pronunciation but different people have different accents and accents is a really crazy concept if you really just think about it because like different bioregions induce different languageal patterns and language is really the boundary in which we can conserve through reality be conserve not serve but swerve through reality because if you can't have the words to articulate the concepts then you can't really imagine it but once you can imagine it then it's like a stepping stone out into the fog and you can go for a jog and commune with God whatever God is to you it's all just part of your reality tunnel which then feeds back into the reality funnel <sighs> And we got to remember to breathe because if you don't breathe out then you can't breathe in and you all got to breathe out within and speaking of within and without I just watched this crazy video by a dude named Bashar and he rides on a magic carpet like his name is Jafar but he's not really Jafar he's Aladdin <coughs> and I'll post a link to his video because his name is Bashar and he's like supposedly transmitting this extraterrestrial and maybe he's half alien, half mammalian, but he's not really Australian. Because <laughs> he doesn't wrestle on crocodiles. He's not Crocodile Dundee, and he doesn't bounce like a bungee. He's a, he's a guy who just talks about the 
crazy manifestations of, of reality and how we can have these seven steps of, of manifesting and it's quite a cool video and I'm not even sure what accent I'm talking in, I'm just trying to make you laugh because I like making people laugh because people make me laugh because we're all just in this great web where we all have to feedback loops into our black bean soups and uh, <laughs> And we still got to remember to breathe. That's an important thing, especially when you're riding the word wave and you just keep on talking spur of the spontaneous, miscellaneous, extraneous, uh, constantly zaniness. And um, yeah, I'd really like to pass the word wave to you. I'd love to see more people getting on YouTube riding the word wave. If you're brave enough to ride the word wave, you might have a you might be courageous which uh or have courage which if you really look into it it just says see our age which i'm not even really sure how to uh, interpret that i just noticed it recently i really like looking into words and seeing like what's the etymological definition and how can we analyze words because language is just such a fascinating concept and there's so many great videos about language especially by terence mckenna he is a super awesome dude who makes me smile even when I'm in a crazy mood and he could say it's all good or it's all God, whatever that means. I think that's a fascinating concept that we could transform memes and beam them into the cultural streams because everything is really just a meme, it's a concept, it's concave and convex and I'm really just going crazy but what the heck is craziness? I probably ate too much Halloween candy even though I hang out with a dude named Randy who's actually Randy Land who has a place that's kind of like Candyland but if you haven't seen Randy Land he's like the most inspiring dude ever and he wears tie-dyed shirts which encourage me to wear tie-dyed shirts and not be afraid to be called a hippie because people are going to judge you no matter what you want to do so you just got to let your internal hue shine whether it's green or blue. And scoobily do by do, a happy Thursday to you and you. I love you and you are you. So scoobily do by do. Peace.